knows what's back there. This is so not a rock. In the heart of Central America, beneath the dense green canopy of Guatemala's mesmerizing rainforest, lies a long-guarded secret that has remained dormant for centuries. The Maya civilization, renowned for its sophisticated writing system, architectural mastery, and profound astronomical knowledge, leaves us pondering over the enigmatic people who thrived in this uncharted territory. How did they manage to construct awe-inspiring structures without the aid of modern tools and technology? And what revelations might their secrets hold for humanity today? Join us as we embark on a journey to uncover the captivating tales of Guatemala's untouched civilization and explore the scientific wonders that continue to shape our world today. LiDAR's X-ray vision of ancient landscapes. In the realm of discovery, a profound shift is unfolding, where what may escape our eyes on the ground becomes evident to the watchful gaze of a myriad of more potent eyes in the sky. Advancements in technology are revolutionizing archaeology, offering an unprecedented wealth of information previously deemed unimaginable. The year 2018 marked a momentous era for the Maya civilization, with the Guatemalan landscape unveiling thousands of hitherto unknown ruins. An ingenious combination of satellite imagery and laser scanning technology known as LIDAR has brought forth these hidden structures from the shadows. LIDAR, a true marvel among our tools, emerges as a powerful force in Amazonian exploration. With its exceptional capacity to peer through the thick forest canopy, it reveals the concealed secrets lying below. Operating on the principles of light detection and ranging, LIDAR employs streams of light pulses emitted from aircraft, precisely measuring the time taken for their return after bouncing off the ground. The result is an intricate reconstruction of the terrain beneath, akin to the marvels of X-ray vision, unearthing the lost civilization. As we delve into the vast mysteries of the Maya Biosphere Reserve, an extraordinary narrative unfolds spanning over 800 square miles. For the very first time, advanced mapping techniques have unveiled astonishing feats of engineering that collectively point to a society of remarkable size and sophistication. In this ancient landscape, we find a network of complex roads, temples, and palaces that would earn admiration from even today's city planners. However, beneath this grandeur lies a profound enigma. What led to the decline of such a splendid civilization? Could it have been the consequences of war, religious cults, mass sacrifices, or prolonged drought? In the quest to unravel these enigmas, modern archaeologists have turned to the cutting-edge technology of laser mapping, a powerful tool that aids in uncovering the secrets of the ancient Maya world. Decades of laborious work, once solely reliant on foot exploration, have been boosted by aerial LIDAR, which unveiled the forgotten Maya town of Kiwich deep within Mexico's Yucatan region. Circa 800 AD, a local king once held sway here, and his legacy stands in the form of an impressive pyramid shrine constructed from 20,000 meticulously cut and stacked rocks, soaring 30 feet high. Intrigued by the possibility of hidden royal tombs, archaeologist George Bay made a daring decision to sink a shaft straight through the heart of the pyramid. Such an artifact, if found, could offer invaluable insights into the evolution of Maya society. For three decades, Bay and his dedicated team have carefully coaxed from the earth a vivid snapshot of the daily lives of the little-known Maya inhabitants, often referred to as the Northern or Poop Maya. Amidst the intense excavation, at a depth of 21 feet, a remarkable discovery emerged, a seemingly unremarkable piece of rubble to the untrained eye. However, the trained eyes of the archaeologists recognized its true significance. A vaulted stone, distinctive in its shape with a flat face and an angled back meant for insertion into a wall. This unassuming find could hold the key to unraveling the mysteries that lie concealed within Kiowich's ancient walls. These peculiar vault stones were not intended for pyramid construction, but rather served as structural support for ceilings in buildings. An intriguing twist awaits us as we find one of these stones deeply embedded within a pyramid defying all expectations. As archaeologists dig further beneath the pyramid's base, they stumble upon something even more extraordinary, the foundation of an ancient structure. 
This remarkable building stands apart in its novelty, comprising several tiers in a tapering shape. Astonishingly, the pyramid's dating indicates it to be from 800 AD, yet a closer examination of pottery fragments confirms the existence of the foundation beneath it, dating back 300 years earlier to 500 AD. Unraveling this seemingly impossible timeline leads us on a journey southward, back in time to the era of 600 BC in Guatemala, the earliest days of the Maya civilization. Throughout history, scholars have held the belief that the Maya civilization took its roots in the fertile lands of the Mirador Basin. The once sprawling jungles witnessed the rise of early kings who constructed monumental cities, propelling the Maya civilization to the pinnacle of advancement in the Americas. Their mastery of mathematics and astronomy, development of the first written language in the Western Hemisphere, and production of awe-inspiring art placed them in a league of their own. However, around 700 AD, the Maya world experienced a colossal breakdown, characterized by warfare, political unrest, and devastating famine. The once thriving cities were abandoned, and a tide of refugees sought refuge by fleeing northward. Amid this exodus, one refugee king laid the foundation for a settlement known as Kiewicz, and soon after commenced the construction of a pyramid, or so we thought, the subterranean sanctuary. Amidst the profound unveiling of an ancient building foundation, a puzzling enigma emerges as the dates fail to align. The foundation, dated back to 500 AD, seems to predate the arrival of Maya refugees by at least two centuries. Such a revelation begs the question, was there already an occupation at Kiewicz when the refugees arrived? However, this is not the only mysterious find to captivate the minds of explorers and archaeologists. A mere 17 miles away lies another discovery, shrouded in secrecy guarded against looters. Few have been granted the privilege of witnessing this extraordinary revelation, and among them is Fatima Tekpool, a seasoned archaeologist. Buried deep within the belly of the earth, 230 feet underground at the cavern's base, this treasure awaits intrepid souls. The journey towards it is a daunting feat, with a narrow, single-person passage leading through pitch-black mazes of tunnels. Residents had known of the cave's existence for years, yet the true marvel it held remained concealed from their sight. The moment of revelation arrives as the team ventures through the darkened corridors and uncovers the remnants of a long-forgotten wall. This wall once stood as a divider between two realms, a public space and a sacred chamber. Within the sacred confines, a peculiar sight emerges. Traces of countless torches and ritual fires hint at the Mayans' profound belief in caves as the abode of gods. Envisioning the sacred rituals, the archaeologists encounter a curious practice involving intentional deposits of broken pottery. Scholars suspect that the act of breaking the ceramics released potent energy for their offerings. In this ritual, one piece was always taken, possibly to be buried outside the cave, thus completing the symbolic exchange. With each step deeper into the cavern, the team comes to appreciate the tenacity of Maya priests who, long ago, relied on vine-made ropes to reach this sanctum. Even with modern climbing gear, the journey to the heart of this subterranean sanctuary takes a staggering three hours. Decoding the origins of Murata's masterpiece caves, the cave's walls are a canvas for breathtaking imagery, revealing unique three-dimensional jaguars and mythical scenes of ghost-like jaguars hunting deer. Yet what captivates the mind is the portrayal of these creatures dwelling in the underworld, the realm of death. Observe the emaciated body of the jaguar, marked with intent, a possible representation of illness carrying profound significance. Fatima, a seasoned art enthusiast, has explored numerous Maya caves, but remains spellbound by the unprecedented style of these murals. They are unmistakable of Maya origin, yet their distinctiveness suggests a hand not belonging to the Maya civilization of the South. With keen eyes, Scholars analyze the stylistic nuances of the paintings and the accompanying ceramic offerings, pinpointing their creation to around 100 BC. Thus, they stand among the oldest known Maya paintings in Mexico, hearkening back to the pre-classic period, nearly 800 years before the influx of refugees from the south into the Yucatan. The origin of these enigmatic murals poses an intriguing riddle. An extraordinary new site, 
just outside the modern Yucatan city of Mirada, may hold the key. As fortune would have it, excavation for a road network has unveiled a plethora of previously unknown Maya settlements. A staggering 190 new towns and counting have emerged, a revelation that promises to shed light on the elusive identity of the masterful artists behind the cave's ancient wonders. The ancient Yucatan map's jaw-dropping revelations. In a remarkable journey of exploration, the ancient Yucatan map has revealed a stunning transformation. Once perceived as a barren land with isolated hamlets, it now astonishes us with a rapid proliferation of previously unknown cities and towns. Moreover, the burgeoning evidence of extensive agricultural activities and a thriving civilization challenges our previous assumptions. Unexpectedly, this thriving society seems to have emerged much earlier than we ever imagined, potentially on par with the advanced culture found in Guatemala. Archaeologists continued their archaeological endeavors in Kiewicz. The meticulous clearing of stones from the pyramid's side aimed to unravel the enigma behind an intriguing find. A vaulted stone, typically utilized to support a building's ceiling, curiously buried within the pyramid. A detective's mindset prevailed as they sought to unravel this puzzling mystery. Amidst the excavation, a moment of great significance emerged. Workers stumbled upon a sculpture, a finely carved face featuring an elaborate headdress and mask that possibly adorned a prominent lord. This serendipitous discovery raises compelling questions about the pyramid's purpose and the role of its enigmatic inhabitant. Secrets of Kiowich's Ancient Civilization the penchant of this ancient civilization for attaching sculptures to the facades of royal buildings serves as a crucial clue, leading us to a watershed moment in our archaeological excavation. Beyond the corner of a building lies a preserved structure with a broken molding over the doorway, hinting at a grand palace concealed within the rubble. As archaeologists meticulously peel back the layers of the pyramid, an awe-inspiring sight unfolds before us a royal palace comprised of three distinguished edifices. On one side stands a temple, while the other houses the royal family's residential quarters. At the heart of it all lies a throne room, where the enigmatic puzzle begins to take shape. Why would the king of Kiowich erect a pyramid atop a palace? The answer lies in the ancient Maya belief that specific spaces hold extraordinary power. The act of building one structure atop another served to legitimize and enhance the ruler's authority, connecting him directly to his ancestor's legacy. What further sets this discovery apart is that the king who constructed the pyramid was no newcomer from the south, but a descendant of a long-standing royal lineage native to Kiwich. This revelation indicates the existence of an unknown, powerful Maya Mega society in the Yucatan, as old and influential as its southern counterparts. The conventional notion that Guatemala alone claims the birthplace of the Maya no longer holds, for it appears that multiple cradles of their civilization may have thrived. Standing atop a lookout tower near Kiwich, a comprehensive view of the entire site unfolds. It becomes apparent that Kiwich was the quintessential northern town, nestled at the very heart of what was once considered downtown Kiwich, a thriving city of its time. The Enigmatic Stairway to Heaven Stephanie Sims, an archaeologist, embarked on a research endeavor with the initial belief that the extent of Kiewicz was confined to the core area surrounding the pyramid. However, this perception drastically changed when the application of cutting-edge LiDAR mapping technology revealed an expansive hilltop estate, complete with a colossal staircase spanning across the valley. This new evidence suggested that Kiowich might have been the central hub of a much larger and intricate complex. Every morning, the excavation team diligently ascends the 200-foot hill, retracing the footsteps of the ancient Maya who once trod this path, leading them to this very site. Although it appears as a mere pile of rocks to the untrained eye, Stephanie Sims envisions the grandeur that stood here in 850 AD. At that time, a majestic stairway adorned this location, a monumental structure leading to what is believed to be the palace, plantation house, or an opulent residence akin to a modern-day luxurious mansion. This remarkable site has been fittingly named Stairway to Heaven, evoking a sense of awe and wonder as it testifies to the audacity of its builders. Standing tall on that hilltop, 
was a nine to 10 room mansion, an architectural marvel that must have exuded opulence and grandeur during its existence in the ninth century. Such an elaborate and extravagant construction prompts the question, who possessed the wealth and boldness to conceive and construct such an over-the-top real estate? Amidst the ruins of one of the 22 large stone buildings comprising the estate, Stephanie Sims and her team begin their meticulous excavation. As they delve beneath the floors, they stumble upon a tantalizing clue, promising to unlock the secrets concealed within the ancient edifice. With each layer of history unearthed, the anticipation grows, fueling their insatiable quest for answers. In the depths below the floor level of a magnificent three-room elite residence, perched atop a majestic hill, lies a remarkable discovery. An ancient offering concealed by a cluster of capstones. The offering consists of a ceramic bowl and plate, deliberately placed beneath the floor during the construction of the house. As the team cautiously uncovers the plate, faint traces of evidence appear. The fragments found are very small, decayed, and weathered, making it hard to tell if they belong to a person or an animal. However, it seems likely they are human remains. Near the offering, the presence of large capstones raises suspicions of hidden secrets. The ancient Mayan practice of secondary burial, where ancestors' defleshed bones were moved, comes to mind. Perhaps these bones were brought here to sanctify the structure they were building. Carefully removing the capstones, a significant discovery is made. A human tooth emerges, confirming that it is a burial site. Further examination reveals several other teeth, though they are badly decayed due to the acidic soil. The remains of a human skull, arm, and leg bones can also be discerned, affirming that this offering is an integral part of the burial beneath, signifying the dedication of this sacred house. Intriguingly, back in the lab, a surprising find adds a fascinating dimension to the narrative. Analysis of the skull reveals ancient plaque embedded in the teeth, offering a glimpse into the oral hygiene practices of an individual who lived 1,200 years ago. Through meticulous chemical analysis of food particles found in the plaque, a fascinating clue emerges, revealing the astonishing wealth and culinary preferences of these individuals. Delving deeper, we uncover an astounding variety of plant-based food items, including ingredients used in stews and soups like squash, beans, and chili peppers. How the Pucamaya people mastered water management in the deserted. As George Bay's team carefully surveys the nearby hills, a fascinating revelation unfolds before their eyes. The stairway they've come across is not an isolated structure, but one among numerous estates scattered throughout the landscape. These sites reveal intriguing indicators of affluence and prosperity, offering a glimpse into a world of widespread wealth. As they explore further, they notice a distinctive pattern among the secondary buildings, such as the one at the Stairway Estate. Unlike other ancient Central American structures, these houses are remarkably built of stone, a rarity in the region. The implications of this finding are astonishing. It suggests that the society they're unearthing was not characterized by a small elite ruling over a large peasant population. Instead, a burgeoning middle class may have flourished, enjoying opportunities and wealth that extended to nearly half the population. Such revelations about a potential ancient American middle class, existing long before the colonial era of North America, fuel the imagination. These people could have owned land, and enjoyed the prosperity that is akin to what we envision as the Maya dream. Kiowich, along with the Stairway Estate, is nestled in the picturesque region of the Yucatan called the Puk. Despite its lushness and abundant resources, the area lacks water sources like rivers, lakes, streams, or creeks. The inhabitants relied on controlling and collecting rainwater for survival and prosperity. Archaeologist Bill Ringel made a crucial discovery near the Stairway Estate, solving the water scarcity mystery. The Pook region experiences heavy rainfall for only six months a year, leaving it dry the rest of the time. In this challenging environment, the ancient Pukamaya people ingeniously adapted to waterless conditions. The story weaves an enthralling tale of an ancient civilization that thrived against all odds, transitioning between opulence and adversity with ingenious water management techniques and the prospect of a flourishing middle class. Exploring the Mysterious Chilterns 
This remarkable feat of sophisticated engineering was meticulously carved out of limestone bedrock, concealing its secrets within the depths of the earth. Eager to fathom the genius of the Maya's water management, we peer into the meticulous process of Chilton's creation. The process commenced with boring through the resistant cap rock, skillfully navigating into the softer underlying model. There, in a grand display of craftsmanship, they carved out vast chambers. To ensure a watertight reservoir, a thick stucco lining, revealed in hues of pinkish material, was carefully applied. This ingenious waterproofing safeguarded the precious resource within, sealing the fate of these subterranean wonders. The brilliance of the Maya's water engineering unfolds as we marvel at the elaborate systems in place. Ingeniously designed patios, rooftops, and plazas acted as catchments for every precious raindrop. Like conduits from the heavens, the water was channeled into eight scattered chol tunes across the estate. This expansive hilltop acted as a colossal rain barrel, carefully preserving nature's lifeblood for the community it nurtured. Unraveling the question of its significance, we turn to modern experts Bill Ringel and engineer Andrew Willis. Armed with cutting-edge lighter technology, they crafted a meticulous 3D model of the Chilton, shedding light on its capacity. Astoundingly, each stairway's Chilton could hold up to 10,000 gallons of water, a bounty sufficient to support several families throughout three rainless months. Such foresight and efficiency showcased the Mayans' mastery of water management, ensuring the survival and prosperity of their society. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. It's time for today's topic. This captivating image transports us to a bygone era, inviting us to venture deep into the heart of the lush Yucatan rainforest. Here, intriguing mysteries of an ancient civilization eagerly await our discovery. The lost Maya city of Kiewicz, hidden beneath a verdant canopy, beckons with its enigmatic allure. A forgotten king, shrouded in mystery, once ruled this sacred land. Now, we dare to unveil his legacy, a towering pyramid shrine, a testament to the astonishing craftsmanship of a bygone era. As we step closer, the stones seem to whisper untold stories, leaving us to wonder about the enigmatic rituals performed here over 1,200 years ago. What arcane knowledge did the Maya possess? What drove them to erect this awe-inspiring structure with such precision? And what untold treasures lie concealed within its depths? The journey into Kiowich unlocks the past, inviting us to unearth its mesmerizing riddles. What do you find most captivating about the image of the lost Maya city of Kiowich? Let's have your thoughts in the comments below. Whispers of forgotten royalty. The remains of a once grand, majestic palace. This archaeological marvel perched regally atop its foundation, whispering tales of a long-forgotten royal elite. Unveiling this stunning discovery, Archaeologists found traces of surprising wealth cunningly concealed within the lush foliage. Emanating an aura of opulence and power, the ruins bore witness to a momentous period in the history of the illustrious Kiewicz royal family. Their fortune burgeoned exponentially, and they proudly showcased their prosperity through the ambitious construction of this colossal palace. The visionary king of Kiewicz, in his ambition to leave a mark of grandeur, had chosen to build a pyramid above his previous palace and, on an adjacent lot, erected a palatial masterpiece that exuded luxury. A breathtaking ensemble of 15 major buildings and two ceremonial plazas adorned the landscape, each carefully adorned with intricate sculptures and adorned in vibrant painted stucco. As they explored further, they reveled in the remarkably well-preserved state of one such building within the new palace complex. The evidence of stucco, remnants of once elaborate murals, and traces of beams that once held magnificent curtains and tapestries transported him back to a bygone era of regal splendor. Within this unassuming room, simplicity belied true luxury. Kings of old indulged in lavish tastes, favoring extravagant furnishings like jaguar skin sofas and ornate pillows. In the enigmatic world of 800 AD, the illustrious Northern Maya society has already stood for over 1,500 years. Their unparalleled mastery of this challenging landscape is evident in their remarkable ingenuity with water management, which not only enables large-scale farming, but also generates immense wealth for their kings, ushering in a new era of prosperity for a burgeoning middle class. The city, 
of Uzma. In the vast expanse, about 20 miles away from the charming town of Kiowich, lies the majestic city of Uzma. Flourishing in the 800s, it emerged as a formidable political capital, drawing the attention of local kings, including the king of Kiowich, who sought to engage in diplomatic relations and offer tribute to Uzma's esteemed royalty. Ringel, our knowledgeable guide, is eager to reveal an intriguing aspect of Uzma's history from the 800s. Within this era, the city's buildings underwent a peculiar yet mesmerizing transformation. A distinct and unmistakable addition graced their facades, an image of a feathered serpent. Remarkably, not one but two of these awe-inspiring creatures intertwine gracefully across the structures, forming an enthralling visual spectacle. The feathered serpents hold profound significance as symbols of a potent religious ideology known as Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent. However, it is essential to perceive this phenomenon not merely as a cult, but rather as a compelling blend of political ideology infused with religious elements. This ideology occupied a central position within the societal framework, influencing the governance and affairs of the time. To gain entry into this revered order, a local king, such as Kiwich's ruler, had to undergo a rigorous initiation process. Guided by priests, the initiate would be secluded for several days, subjected to rituals of self-mortification. Intricate artworks from that era depict ceremonies involving bloodletting, where initiates would pierce their penises and other body parts, a testament to the commitment and sacrifice required for this prestigious membership. The facade also shows a fascinating image of a small man coming out of a majestic feathered serpent's mouth. Watch as this figure transforms while passing through the serpent. These sacred rituals, linked to the mysterious Quetzalcoatl, bring about a profound change in the initiate. The intricate carvings of Quetzalcoatl found in the awe-inspiring Usmal reveal the lasting impact of a captivating cult that spread in the 800s. As local kings were drawn to this new ideology, it caused political tensions, leading to competition between those embracing the new beliefs and those holding on to Maya traditions. Unfinished Marvels of Kiowik's Grand Palace Amidst the splendor of the new palace in Kiowik, intriguing signs emerge, hinting at a puzzling narrative beneath the surface of prosperity. A conspicuous pile of rocks stands before the magnificent structure, seemingly out of place and enigmatic in its presence. The grandeur of the building on one side, adorned with elegant rooms, contrasts sharply with the juxtaposed heap of rubble in the center. Upon deeper investigation, we unravel the mystery behind this seemingly perplexing arrangement. What we behold is an actual staircase, thoughtfully constructed by skilled workers to grant access to the upper stories of the building. This scaffold system employed by the Maya reveals a captivating glimpse into their innovative construction techniques, However, an air of suspense lingers as we realize that the stairway remains intact, a striking indication that the building's completion might not have occurred. Typically, in a finished structure, such scaffolding would have been removed. This observation raises intriguing questions about the abrupt halt in construction and the hidden reasons behind it. Moreover, another part of Kiewick's palace exhibits similar enigmatic characteristics. The second-story walls of a building lie meticulously laid out on the ground by skilled masons, but remain unerected, giving further evidence of a sudden cessation in the construction process. The Meticulous Abandonment of a Civilization Unraveling the enigma behind the abrupt end to Kiowich's prosperous era became a captivating quest. At first glance, the prevailing notion suggested that war might have been the culprit, Yet, a thorough investigation yielded no signs of ancient weaponry, such as arrowheads or spear points. However, a turning point emerged when the team ventured to the regal domain of Stairway to Heaven, a grand hilltop estate. There, amidst the eerie silence of the abandoned palace, intriguing clues began to surface. Astonishingly, the interior floors were strewn with remnants of five or six vessels, all shattered at the time of the mysterious departure. A riveting revelation emerged. It appeared that the occupants had not fled frantically for their lives, but instead had executed a well-organized exodus. The evidence painted a peculiar picture. Pots meticulously hung on wall pegs, untouched, and thoughtfully arranged around the premises. 
It was as if the inhabitants had taken a moment to carefully safeguard these precious artifacts before vacating the site, akin to tidying up one's home before embarking on a journey. The question lingered. What could have compelled such a coordinated and methodical abandonment of Stairway to Heaven? As the expedition delved deeper into historical data, they discovered the presence of cisterns, providing the Maya civilization with a reliable water source. These cisterns could have sustained them for three months during a drought, or perhaps a few months longer with strict water rationing. Yet, further examination revealed that the region had endured a series of droughts, spanning three to twenty years, repeatedly pummeling their resilience each time progress seemed feasible. It became evident that despite their tenacity, the continuous onslaught of droughts proved insurmountable. The once fertile land of Stairway to Heaven could no longer sustain its inhabitants. The heart-wrenching reality compelled the elite families to make a harrowing decision, to leave behind the place they once called home. In their departure, they carried whatever they could on their backs, carefully preserving what remained, hoping for the rains to return someday, as they anticipated their homecoming. However, the unyielding droughts had reshaped their destiny, leaving behind a poignant legacy of a civilization compelled to depart their cherished abode. As they grappled with the challenges of droughts, the Maya exhibited a profound ability to manage their water resources effectively. However, the lingering mystery that captivates our curiosity is their unexplained disappearance from the historical stage. The remnants of history suggest that the people of Stairway and the revered king of Kiewicz, who once thrived during past droughts, were unable to endure the calamitous intensity of the more recent dry spells. The droughts of unprecedented severity necessitated a meticulously orchestrated response, which proved to be their sole glimmer of hope. During the 9th century, the political establishment in the North faced problems due to the feathered serpent belief system. This ideology caused rivalries for power, leading to disarray and a lack of a stable government. Without proper governance, the northern Maya civilization declined rapidly. Within a century, both northern and southern cities were in ruins, hidden by thick jungles. Over time, these once mighty structures were buried beneath lush greenery. Modern technology and fieldwork are now revealing the secrets of this lost civilization. Would you be interested in visiting Guatemala to witness firsthand the remnants of an ancient civilization that has been hidden for centuries? Let's know your response in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.